Yo, what's up guys? My name is Destiny and welcome back to another video in the channel. And in this one, we're going to go ahead and work with getting the profile detail page. Trust me, it's very, very simple and it shouldn't take much time. It should be like the last one that we wrote, just uh, just that we're going to be writing just four more lines of code in the views PI and just one line of code in the URLs. You guys are, are going to enjoy the video. Do make sure to check out the links in the description below. One of them that should help you become a better and professional Django developer. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up the views PI come over to the views just like i said and we need to write another one it's going to be called profile detail okay so it should pretty much inherit from generics dot retrieve we just say retrieve updates api view but for now i don't think we will be updating anything so the serializer class that we're going to be interacting with will be the profile serializer have we imported it i guess not let's go ahead and import the profile serializer so import the Profile serializer, simple as that, and we should be done. You also want to import the profile model. All right. Okay, there you go. So profile serializer, that's it. And also the query sets should be what? Profile dot objects dot all. Okay. And finally, the permission classes should be what is authenticated. Is authenticated and i'm gonna go ahead and add this authenticated to all the other ones that we have over here okay all right i think we did not have it's authenticated in all this so just do make sure to add it it's authenticated to all that okay so we don't have any you know any issue and after this let's register it in the urls py um you could just duplicate this um i don't know are you we should just give a comment let's say something like get or filter data okay so this one over here should be profile and since it's a retrieve update that means we want to get one particular item right so that means you want to pass in int pk by default that's what you should pass in or else you're going to get an issue if you don't explicitly define you know a keyword argument then passing int pk Okay, and over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and call the profile detail. Let's make sure that that's what we call it over here. There you go, profile detail. And that's it, we are done. We're pretty much done. I should have go ahead, I should have just, um, you know, just start off the next video where we're gonna create a search user in this one. But I think we should just leave it over to the next video. And hopefully I'm, I'll be able to push up this little videos every day. So you guys don't have to wait for a very long time before getting the videos, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like, consider subscribing as it really means the world to me. And I hope to see you in the next video. That will be the very, very last one before we go ahead and start working with React. And until then, mad love, peace out.